Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, namaste. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm back with another video. Today we will try to understand and analyze SIP and PRI debugs. Uh, Obviously, it's together the call flow is SIP and PRI. I'll show you the call flow and we'll try to understand the call flow, the flow of messages when we have SIP and PRI together. So I have already tried to explain the PRI debug in my previous videos with PRI call flows, PRI debug analysis. Please uh, go through it once just for the revision. So we'll try to focus on SIP debug today mostly. So when let's see our call flow first so this will be our call flow where we have a call manager talking to voice gateway using SIP protocol and then we have a PRI to the provider so when we have this call flow the debugs to be taken to analyze a call related issue would be debug CC SIP messages this is for SIP this is to see and uh, analyze SIP related outputs second one is debug ISDNQ931 for PRI this is for PRI and the co common debug debug VoIP copy in out C copy in out so these three debugs are necessary to analyze call related issues or to see what all is going on in a voice gateway when there is an incoming or outgoing call through this voice gateway so the debug that I have a sample debug that I have is an incoming call coming from provider through the PRI to the voice gateway and then going to the call manager through SIP protocol so if you guys remember the call flows or before we analyze the debug you should remember and understand that I have always re, you know said this thing that to understand a debug or analyze a debug you should be clear with the call flow of each and every protocol because that's what all will be going in a debug a raw debug file we will be seeing the same kind of messages so just to revise quickly if it's an incoming call that we are analyzing you should be seeing uh, incoming ISDN setup message and invite going to the call manager you would be saying that the voice gateway would be sending a call proceeding it will be sending and alerting and then it will send a connect and here we would be seeing a hundred trying coming in from call manager to the voice gateway then and 180 ringing a 200 ok and voice gateway would be sending an acknowledgement to the call manager so this should be the flow of sequence so like setup received at the same time invite sent to the call manager we might be seeing a hundred trying coming a proceeding being sent 180 ringing received alert being sent to the provider 200 ok received from call manager to the gateway and then connect being sent connect you might also see this a connect act being received and then act sent so this should be the sequence uh, a standard sequence for a successful call when you have a SIP PRI debug so let's go to our raw debug file quickly and see if uh, we, if to find out if it's a successful call or not <coughs> 
So this is the raw debug file that I have. So I have not analyzed it yet. See, this is how a raw debug file looks. I hope everyone knows how to collect debugs from voice gateways and cube. If not, please comment. I'll try to create one video on that as well on how can we collect debugs from voice gateways and cube and what are the various ways of collecting it. So this is a raw debug file that I have where the called number is 2900 calling number is 20, uh, 3900. So if we start analyzing it, the first things that you should ask a customer or a user to analyze a debug is the called number, calling number and the time of the issue. That's necessary because there might be a lot of calls going on at the same time. So ask the time frame. Since the, my debug file only contains the debug of the particular call that I'm going to analyze, so I'm not noting down the time. So it's called number I have 2900, calling number 3900. My call flow uh, uh, was uh, provided to the voice gateway. We have a PRI and then voice gateway to call manager. We have SIP and it's an incoming call. So let's see what we see in the debug. Here we see a setup being received. So setup when we are receiving an ISDN setup, that means it's coming from provider to the gateway. It's an incoming call. Please check my previous videos on what is the uh, the call ID, the unique call ID for ISDN PRI. It's the last three characters of a call reference that remains unique for this particular call. Before marking the call ID, check if the calling and call number matches. So you can just use Control F, find your calling or the called number and mark them. So you can use the highlighter. This is my call number. This is my calling number. We have marked it and we see it's an incoming call. So this is the particular call that we are looking for. We have matching call and calling number and it's incoming call through PRI. So I'll try to mark this. A new notepad option is not marking it but let's try no problem we'll remember this the last three characters of my particular call is 192 the call reference is 192 so now we'll try to move down very slowly this is debug output generated by the command debug is in q931 that I, that we have used now when we scroll down we'll see the capi c capi output as well so <coughs> sorry guys so for CAPI, my unique ID is this. So we have to mark this. This again remains same for this particular call. So in CAPI output, you will be seeing the calling number, call number, and very important, the dial peers. What is the incoming and outgoing dial peer being selected for this particular call? So if you move down a bit, you will see the incoming dial peer being selected is dial peer 1 here. I'll try to mark that as well quickly. This is incoming dial peer 1. See, we, s we are still under the same CAPI ID. So it's incoming dial peer 1. Move down slowly. All this process is going on. Remember, guys, you don't need to go through each and every line but you should understand what lines are important. There will be thousands of lines in a debug file. You don't have to go through all of them. You should understand the keywords. You should know the special keywords that, ne that is needed to analyze a debug. So if you scroll down, again you see this is outgoing cap capi leg, C capi leg, where again we will see calling number, called number, and you will see the outgoing dial peer being selected. Mark it as well. It's outgoing dial peer 21. Now, just to uh, understand uh, if you guys are not aware of what dial peers will be selected, what are the type of dial peers we have, I have a video for that as well. Go through that. So since the call is coming through PRI, going to voice gateway, and then going to the call manager through SIP, the incoming dial peer that is selected will be a POTS dial peer because it's a TDM leg and the outgoing dial peer going to the call manager or the sending the call to the call manager will be a VoIP dial peer since it's an IP leg. 
So outgoing dial pair 21 would be a VoIP. So outgoing dial pair 21 would be a VoIP dial pair and incoming dial pair 1 is a POTS dial pair. Is a POTS dial pair since it's on TDM leg. So let's move down. We have marked outgoing dial pair as well. Now we should be seeing an invite being sent to the call manager and see we have an invite. So this is where the SIP debug start. So we have the same called number, calling number. Now go through my previous videos where I have explained the various lines, the headers in a SIP debug. So if you remember correctly, this means, this line means invite being sent where the called number is, this is, this represents the called number or the URI where the called number is 2900 and it will be now handled by the server which has this IP address having a port 5060 having SIP version 2. So since we are sending this call from the voice gateway to the call manager this is the IP address this will be the IP address of the call manager so I'll I'll uh, I'll some uh, I'll explain it again this line means invite being sent where the called number is 2900 and it will be handled by the server having this IP address now the since the call is being sent to the call manager this will be the IP address of the call manager where call manager will be handling this number now now the unique ID in a SIP debug is the call ID that we have to mark which remains same for a particular call now this is the ID this, that will remain same for this call particular leg since we have a SIP PRI not SIP to SIP so we'll see only one unique ID in SIP if it would have been a SIP to SIP call we would have seen two unique IDs a SIP incoming uh, SIP a unique ID in the incoming leg and one SIP unique ID or call ID at the outgoing leg but since we have SIP only at one side we'll be seeing one SIP unique call ID I'll try to explain the SIP to SIP debug analysis as well uh, in maybe of one of my next classes I don't have a sample debug for SIP to SIP now if you guys have a sample debug for SIP to SIP please email me so this is the unique ID now we have sent this invite to the call manager if you scroll down you will see it's an early offer invite since the content length is greater than zero so this is an early offer invite I've explained early offer and delayed offer in my previous videos please go through it so this is an early offer invite being sent to call manager where we have the originator which is the voice gateway connection element again where the I where the RTP will be established it's again the I, uh, voice gateway IP address so and it has all those details what protocol what DTMF will be used it, I have explained this already so after highlighting the unique call ID of this invite let's go down let's scroll down quickly and so initially when you are trying to understand the debugs or learn the debug analysis try to move down slowly one by one try to see what lines are getting printed so I'll tell you the shortcut as well when you have very large debugs very big debug and multiple calls I can tell you that as well but let's try to go down slowly one by one now since we have sent the invite we would be we should expect a hundred trying coming from the call manager and we see a received hundred trying under the same call ID so this is the invite that we have received I mean sorry 100 trying that we have received again we have received 180 ringing which is expected after 100 trying we would be receiving a 180 ringing after this if you scroll down we will be seeing a 200 ok a 200 ok coming from the call manager and now since it's an early offer 
we would be sending we have sent the SDP in our invite so the next SDP should be sent by the call manager in 200 okay see we have received 200 okay same call ID content length since is 226 which is more than zero so this is the SDP being sent by the call manager so in early offer what we do is we send in uh, SDP in invite and received SDP receive SDP in 200 okay so this is an early offer call <coughs> we have received a 200 okay and now we should be sending see the capital like that we have marked it's the same call going on we should be sending an ACK now we have sent this ACK finalizing that call has been established the call is now good to go I mean the call the both caller the called and calling party have started the communication the call is particularly established the media has been established so this is the ACK being sent by the voice gateway to the call manager now see sent ACK under the same call ID so remember this this voice gateway prints the debug uh, prints the debug basis of the message it has received or sent okay so don't get confused that it was an incoming call or an outgoing call that's okay that's the direction but voice gateway or queue prints all the messages based on if it has sent it or received it right so invite it has sent to the call manager because the SIP was between call manager and voice gateway right in 100 trying it has received received from call manager obviously because the SIP is between call manager and the voice gate gateway so don't get confused if someone asked who sent this call proceeding if you see we have a call proceeding under the same call reference 192 I didn't give much focus on PRI debug because I have already explained this in my previous videos so but we will be seeing all these messages as well setup sent see 100 trying received but before that we have sent a call proceeding because that's obvious if you receive a ISDN setup we will be sending a ISDN proceeding call proceeding see so call proceeding sent TX transfer under the same call reference 192 so we would be seeing those messages simultaneously as well if you scroll down you will seeing some alerting as well being sent so let's move down and you will be seeing an alerting being sent see we have alerting sent 192 under the same call reference 200 okay received from call manager so we'll be seeing a connect being sent as well somewhere down here we should be seeing connect see transferred connect so it's connect being sent so when someone asks connect being sent where so this connect is an ISDN connect and ISDN or PRI connect and it was the PRI is between voice gateway and the provider so connect will be sent to the provider if it's received it is received from the provider don't get confused that connect will be sent to call manager no because the PRI connectivity is between voice gateway and the provider so connect sent or received ISDN setup sent off or received will be between voice gateway and provider so this is how you have to be clear on your mind that this particular protocol or a TDM technologies between this and this so messages will be received or sent between only these two don't get confused right so these are the things that we have to go through in a debug right uh, I'll try to explain the SIP to SIP call flow as well in one of my next videos and um, uh, if you guys have a sample debug or if you want me to analyze any debug that you have maybe for a call please email me you guys have my email ID this is my email ID or you can whatsapp me the debugs as well uh, so uh, this will be all for today it's a long video today because debug analysis actually takes time I still try to speed up but it takes time to analyze so uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section please subscribe to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, I would like to thank every one of you today we are more than uh, we are a family of more than 800 subscribers and uh, I would like to thank everyone for this uh, thanks everyone have a great day bye bye